One of the great achievements of America's founding fathers was that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The founding fathers wisely established a separation of church and state. Despite what some in America, an alarmingly large sum, choose to believe, this is clear not only from the wording, but also from the words of its authors themselves. The founders of the United States were creating a secular society based on reason, a society where people were free to have faith in any god, if they so chose, or no god, without any interference from the government. There would be a separation of church and state. Over 200 years later, one could be forgiven for assuming that the United States would now be the shining example of a secular society. But that is not the case. America has, in many ways, become a more fundamental religious society. Religious groups have warped the ideas of the Founding Fathers, and increasingly we see the wall of separation between church and state being eroded. America is, as Sean Faircloth put it, under attack of the theocrats. Many continue to beat the drum, incorrectly, that the Founding Fathers of the United States based the Constitution and the Bill of Rights on Christian values and the Ten Commandments. This is blatantly untrue. Since its founding, the United States has had a great influence around the world. People everywhere look to it for guidance. So when the values, the secular and free values, change to be exclusive and based on the ideology of one religion, it worries the rest of the world. Perhaps it's easier to see when you live outside of America, when you can see the way the political tone in the U.S. is making its way into other countries when you see religious extremism in other countries react in violent ways to policies of the United States that appear to be based on religion. If even one American soldier occupying a Muslim country is allowed to have Christian prayers inscribed on their gun, it gives the appearance of a religious crusade. When you see religious groups denying science and insisting that creationism be taught in schools, it makes you worry about the education of future generations. It is worrying when you see a state governor resort to praying to the supernatural for rain to end a drought while denying climate science. When children are denied medical treatments because the religion of their parents forbids it, you worry. The same when you see people discriminated against because of their sexual orientation just because someone's religion says it's okay. All of this worries the rest of the world, and it should worry America. If you believe in a free, secular society that is based on reason, facts, and science, and not religion, hucksterism, and bigotry, then I encourage you to think about these things. Let's hope that we can return to the brilliant guiding principles that inspired the writers of the Constitution of the United States.